Some have said that the direction of your focus is the direction of your life. For the Christian, our focus is crystal clear. We are to look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. In every area of life, we are to lay aside the hindrances of our Christian journey and look to Christ as our example and strength to live the life he has called us to live. So today, let's starve our distraction and feed our focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Walk Talks podcast and today's Friday Focus episode. Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Friday Focus. It's Micah Gillespie and Micah Herbster brought to you guys from Hutchinson, Kansas today. We are right outside of Salina. We are doing services at Wheatland Baptist Church in McPherson, um, Kansas. And so we are enjoying this beautiful Kansas day. We're sitting outside to hear some birds chirping or some bugs bugging. That's <laughs> That's why, because we're trying to get <laughs> trying to get some vitamin D today. Yes. We're really excited though about our conversation that we're going to have and the focus that we'll have in our podcast. And so we're going to talk about encouragement, and it's a big topic. The Bible has a lot to say about encouragement. But Micah, how would you define what does it mean to encourage somebody? You know, when I hear the word encourage, I think like the first thought that pops in my mind is like brightening somebody's day. And it can be, you know, as little as a, a, a smile from somebody, a kind word, or even a text message. Mm-hmm. And I know it goes deeper than that, but I think an all-encompassing idea is just simple ways that you can make people's day better. Yes, yeah. There's a little nuance um, with the word encourage, I think, too, because sometimes you have a parent that talks to a kid and corrects them and instructs them. And sometimes we use the word while I was encouraging them to do what's right, kind of in an instructive Mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. And that's not really the angle we're going to talk about today. We're talking more about exactly what Micah said, encouraging other people, uplifting people. Uh, The the dictionary defines it as inspiring people with courage, spirit, or hope. And really being a ray of sunshine in a dark dark world. And you know, the Bible has a lot to say about um, about this type of spirit. I was thinking even about Barnabas in the New Testament, his in- interaction with and relationship to Paul, the son of consolation. And he was an encourager and he really was a, he had a huge ministry in the ministry of encouragement to the apostle Paul and to other people around him. Uh, a couple of principles just before we get into some of the practical things um, that the Bible teaches us about encouragement. The golden rule, right, in Matthew 7, verse 12, uh, the Bible says there we should do to other people how we want to have things done to us. And I think a lot of times when we're not encouraging people, it's because we're very focused on ourselves. We're not really thinking about the needs of other people. And really a lot of what we're going to talk about today in a very practical sense comes down to this principle. Will you focus on other people? Will you treat other people how you want to be treated? Because isn't, isn't it true, Micah, that if you just stop sometimes and think in your interactions with and your relationship with other people, man, I'm just going to treat them how I might want to be treated. That would change a lot in the way that we treat people, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Another principle just to remind you of is what the Bible talks about in Philippians 2. And we know verses 5 down through 12 when it talks about Christ, having you know having the mind of Christ. But Verses 1 through 4 help us to understand the mind of Christ. Look not every man on his own things, the Bible says there, but every man also on the needs of others. Um, A lot of Christians live and interact with people kind of with their eyes closed Mm -hmm. in a a very real way, blinded to the needs of of people around them. And how can we ever be an encouragement Mm -hmm. to anybody if we're not actually seeing their need? Yeah, and we're going to get into the the practical things later, but I think one of the big things in encouraging is having your eyes open to be able to even see others who need encouraged in the first place. Yes. That's the first step, really, in encouraging is seeing somebody who you can encourage. Absolutely. Yeah, then there's uh, several texts of scriptures um, in the, uh, Apostle Paul's writing. He tells them to comfort one another in First Thessalonians, in Ephesians 4, to edify, to build up with words, uh, minister grace unto the hearers with the words that we are Uh, that we are saying. Uh, There's a principle in Acts 20 and verse 35 where we're reminded of what Jesus said, that it's more blessed to give Mm -hmm. than to receive. 
I think what's what keeps me at least from encouraging other people a lot of times is the internal thoughts that I have. Well, nobody's encouraging me. <laughs> and why why do I have to be the one that's always helping other people? First of all, that's a wrong mm-hmm. I mean, it's not even true. So it's it's a wrong thing to think. Uh, but it's a selfish way to think. And it's not it's not practicing the biblical principle of, hey, it actually is better to give to other people, to encourage other people, uh, than to receive something like encouragement. So those are just a few principles. Obviously, the Bible says a lot more about our words and our attitudes and our actions. But practically, Micah, what is what does this look like uh, for Christians on a day-to-day basis? And what are some ways that maybe you're seeking to implement these principles into your life? Yeah, I mean, there's so many ways that you can encourage people and many of them don't take but a couple of seconds and hardly any time or much thought even which is the ironic thing Mm. in all of this is that it really doesn't take that much effort to encourage somebody and I think at the end of the day everybody's a little bit different you know I might Mm -hmm. be encouraged by something that doesn't necessarily encourage you but um there's so um, one thing that is always encouragement to me is like a text from, you know, a good friend or a brother or a sister or something and, or a, a note, mm-hmm. um, words of encouragement, um, any way that you can share kind words with other people. Mm-hmm. Um, those are super, super helpful, um, especially when it's from people that mean a lot to, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just being thoughtful mm-hmm. in, in general and assessing the situation. I think that kind of goes back to the principle that we talked about just a minute ago. Treat other people how you want to be treated. Well, you have to put yourself in the other person's shoes in some ways. So if you're at a distance, yeah, learning to encourage them through text or phone call. I have some people in my life that love to love to receive phone calls and love to just talk. And to them, that's very encouraging. And I, I was thinking earlier as we were preparing for this podcast, sometimes being an encouragement is not so much what you say mm-hmm. as to how much you listen. Mm-hmm. And I've had moments like that in my life where, hey, I just I just need somebody to talk to and to hear me out and to empathize with me, sympathize with me, and uh, then allow them to speak into my life as well. Yeah, and I think that going right off of that, it's not always just what you say, too. Encouraging is more than just words. Totally. Because you can say, you know, a whole laundry list of nice things to somebody, but then if you never do anything mm-hmm. about it. What does it really mean? Yes. You know, so I'm somebody that if you're telling me up and down, oh, yeah, you're so great, Micah. Oh, yeah, blank this, Micah, that, Micah. And then you never even do anything for Mm -hmm. me. Like, yeah, it's being selfish on my Mm -hmm. end. But, like, I'm like, okay, prove it to me. Prove Mm -hmm. that you really are, you know, encouraged by my friendship or whatever Yes. Yeah, that takes time. Put action to your words as well. Yes. Show people. Yeah. Building relationships and in conversation, time spent together doing things. I mean, that means a lot to me as well when people people will do do simple stuff like that. One thing that I try, have tried to do in my life even recently is thinking about and watching people that are encouraging to me and then almost implementing some specific things that they do to in my life than with other people. So I'll just give you an example, Micah. Somebody that we know and most of our listeners will know, Daniel Sisk, right? I When I think of the word encourage, or an encourager, I think of Daniel Sisk. He's very good at encouraging people, uplifting uh, with his words and with his actions. So there are times in just the last couple of weeks where I have thought about things that Daniel has done for me and ways that Daniel Sisk has encouraged me. And then I've sought to do that with other people and just saying a kind word, shooting a nice text to somebody, um, sending, sending somebody a scripture reference that can hopefully encourage them in their time of need. So watching other people and thinking about how other people are encouraging you could also be you know, a practical way to mm-hmm. encourage people around you. I think kind of going off of that, in order to know how to encourage somebody, you do have to take the time to get to know them and figure out mm-hmm. what really encourages them mm-hmm. and find out what you can say for that person or what you can do for that person that is really going to mean a lot to them. Yes. Yeah, and generally being, being positive and optimistic and willing to build the relationships, willing to be vulnerable, willing to say the right thing at the right time. And this is a big challenge. Nobody's perfect at this, man. I'm, I'm definitely not, not perfect at this. This is something I want to grow in and something I want to work at in my own life and looking, looking at the needs of others. Here's, here's the challenge we're going to lay down for you guys as, as listeners today. All right. This is where the rubber's going to meet the road because we don't want this to just be an academic exercise. 
spend some time today thinking about one or two people in your life. Maybe if it, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a family member, maybe it's a boss, maybe it's a coworker, maybe it's a classmate. Think of one way, one simple way that you can encourage somebody today. Maybe it's a text. Maybe it's uh, shooting somebody a, a scripture reference that you read in, the, in your devotions and you thought of them. Maybe it's writing a small note. Maybe it's buying a $5 Starbucks gift card for somebody. Amen. Which would be a blessing, I'm sure. Think of one way that you can encourage somebody today and be a, a, an influence in their life. By God's grace, he'll help us to be encouraging people. And I kind of just want to add to that. See if you can look up in your own life where people are encouraging you. See if you can spot people trying to Mm. encourage you. Cause I've noticed too, even if I look for people encouraging me, then when I, when I see what I don't normally see, even that is encouraging. Oh wow. I can't believe that person thought to send me a text or I can't believe that person made me a bookmark or whatever Mm. it is. Look for people encouraging you in your own life too. Yeah. And be thankful for it. That's huge. I think that being, being blessable, is a good way of saying it. Just being willing to be encouraged by other people. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. It's been a privilege and uh, to be with you on the Walk Talks podcast. Hope you'll join us next week for our series and we'll be back next week with a special Friday Focus episode and hope that you'll make your plans to join us. We hope that you enjoyed today's episode of Friday Focus presented by the Walk Talks podcast. Make your plans to join us next week for another set of podcast episodes that will encourage you in your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ.